O battery. 3.6 volts. Do you want your OpenTX Edge TX radio to automatically alert you when your quads lipo gets low or give you voltage callouts on a switch? Stick around, I'm going to show you how. Welcome to another penetrating episode of Just the Tip, a short series of tech tips and tricks with me, Rogue FPV. Are you one of those pilots that constantly kills lipos because you're having too much fun and you bring packs back at 2.7 volts per cell? Do you hate constantly scanning your OSD and breaking your flow? Maybe your quad's telemetry isn't working. Do you often find yourself saying, I wish my radio could just call out my voltage when I get near the end of the pack so I could just focus on my ripping? Well, my friends, wish no more. Today, I'm going to show you how to do just that. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to set up audible low battery alerts on your OpenTX Edge TX radios. There are a few different ways you can set this up, so I'm going to show you method one, how to do it with one auxiliary switch and one special function, and method two, how I use it automatically based on a low voltage threshold with one logical switch and one special function. Let's get right to it. The first method I'm going to show you uses an aux switch and a special function. Pick any unused switch or unused switch position. If you need to add a new switch, add one in your mixer screen. Then verify the switch works in your monitor screen. Now we just have to create a special function to call out the battery voltage each time the switch is triggered. We'll do that in the special functions page. Scroll down to your first empty line and click enter to begin switch selection. Move the desired switch you set earlier to the position you want it to be in and click enter. Scroll to the next column, change override to play value and hit enter. Scroll to the next column and set it to RXBT. Note, I have my RX bat set to report average cell voltage, so my alerts will call out the average cell voltage. If you have your RX bat set to report total LiPo voltage, your alerts will call out total LiPo voltage, not average cell voltage. Scroll to the last column on the right. This is where you'll set the repeat delay time, if you choose to have the value automatically repeat. Setting the variable as exclamation hyphen will play the value one time each time the switch is triggered. Setting a value of 5 seconds as an example will announce the value every 5 seconds until the switch is turned off. You can set a maximum time of 60 seconds, but I feel for freestyle 10 to 15 seconds is probably a good value. Now, every time you trigger the switch, the radio will call out your LiPo voltage. 3.7 volts. Now, most of you are probably thinking, this is super cool, but Uncle Rogi, I don't want to mess with no switches while I'm flying. Isn't there a better way to do this so it just alerts you automatically when the battery gets low? Well, yes, there is. So for method two, I'm going to show you how I automate this function without using an aux switch. To start, go to your logical switch screen and set up a new logical switch by scrolling to the first empty line and clicking enter. Set up the logical switch as follows. 
function equals a is less than x. v1 equals rxbt. V2, I have mine set to 3.7 volts because I set my RxBT to report average cell voltage, not total. And this value gives me enough warning time to get back and land while bando smashing. You'll enter a value here that you feel comfortable is a warning voltage. When your LiPo or cell voltage falls below this value, the logical switch will become active. Do not set an AND or duration, but do set a delay of 5 seconds. This delay means that LiPo cell voltage must be at or below the set value for 5 seconds before the logical switch becomes active. This helps reduce false positive alerts caused by battery sag. Be sure to take note of the logical switch number for your new logical switch. Mine is L04, but yours may be different. Now let's scroll to the next menu page and set up the special function to play the alert. Create a new special function, click once to enter, and then scroll to set the switch to the logical switch number you created earlier. Again, mine is L04 for reference. Change override to play track Set the alert sound to low bat from your SD card sounds folder. Set the last modifier to exclamation hyphen. This prevents the alert from repeating and also prevents the alert from triggering when you first power up the radio. If you want the alert to automatically repeat after a certain number of seconds while you are flying, you can set the value here in seconds with a maximum of 60. But again, 10 to 15 seconds is probably a good amount of time. Be advised, if you are using a repeating alert, it will continue until you unplug the LiPo or bring it back over the low voltage threshold. Alternatively, if you want your radio to call out actual voltage instead of just say, low battery, change override to play value, and set the value to RxBT. And that's it! Now whenever your LiPo voltage falls below the value you set in the logical switch page for 5 seconds or more, the new special function will automatically play the audible alert low battery out of your radio speakers and alert you when it's time to bring it back in. And that does it for this episode. As always, if you guys found this content helpful, please like and subscribe for more tips and tricks on how to make your FPV easier. All my quad tunes, RC smoothing profiles, rate profiles, and OSD profiles are saved in my GitHub presets repo and can be added to your Betaflight presets tab for free. Link in the description below. If you guys have any questions or ideas for future videos, drop a comment down below. As always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.